Oh, we gotta start. Orla Bosa. On the eve of the 14th day now, those of you, Yaakov, you ever learned Psachim in the Bavli? <laughs> There's no messing in the Ushalmi. Or means night. No questions asked. There's not gonna be any discussion of it whatsoever. Orla Bosa are both gives the Chomets. On the 14th day of Nechomets, Nisan at night, you check the Chomets, Lor on air, by the light of a candle. Komakushay Machlisim, but Chomets, any place they don't put Chomets, Eino Tzarabdika does not require checking. Ubame Amru, what do they say to check? If you're talking about a wine cellar, Shtei Shuros Bamarate, two rows in the cellar, Mokum Shemachlisim, but Chomets is a place where they put Chomets in. Bishamri, Shtei Shuros Apne Komarate, if it's two rows, Throughout the entire cellar. If you imagine a uh, wine cellar to which you come down from uh, from a higher floor, so it's the two upper and outer rows, not two rows throughout the entire thing, but the two upper and outer rows immediately closest to the stairs. Okay? Ksiv. It says, Ushmarte mesamatsos. You should keep the matzos. Because in the uh, in the in, in the essence of this day, or the, uh, the the middle of this day, I took your host your 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 hosts out of Egypt. Okay, fine. The pasuk continues. On the first in the first month, at the fourteenth day of the month. In the evening, she eat matzos. Says the Gemara, man or kayamin. How do we touch up this pasuk? Im laachilas matzo. If it means eat matzo, kvar ksiv shivas yomim matzos tochelu. Says already seven days eat matzos. You don't need this pasuk to teach us to eat matzos. V'im lo marsh maslu bar bosor. And it comes to teach you you're supposed to start eating matzo on the fourteenth day. That's certainly not true. Vaksiv it says Ad Yoim Echod Vesim Lachodesh. You're supposed to eat matzah until the twenty first day of Nitzan. Seven days. Twenty one minus seven means you start on the fifteenth day. You cannot say that you start on the fourteenth day. Okay? I tried to stall till you got here. You can ask them I tried to stall. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um so it can't be uh, to tell you to eat matzah on the 14th day. Ella, im eno inya achilas matzah, Rabbi Yisai, this drosh is not at all in the Bavli. Im eno inya achilas matzah, if this pasuk is not necessary for achilas matzah, today we eat the beer chametz. It teaches us you have two beer chametz. It says in pasuk for the should eat matzah on the 14th day. It's not true. So it must not be talking about matzah, it must be talking about eradicate the chametz. So beer chametz is here, a eh? the raisa, learned out from this pasuk. Okay? Says more, I should point out, beer chametz on the 14th day. Of course, even the Bavli holds it to me, the raisa, me, yavar chametz. Beer chametz on the 14th day. Bedikas and beer chametz on the 14th is the raisa, according to the Yushalmi. You don't do it earlier. The 12th, the 11th, the 13th. Because the Bira Chomets is at the rice on the 14th. Okay? Vim loy marsha mas... I'm sorry. Loma lo aranir. Why by the light of a candle? Amr av shul barav yitzay neisha aranir boy de koshu. A candle checks koshu. Koshu means very meticulously. Checks every little nook and cranny. Right, as opposed to refer uh, to a torch that you can't take it to any small place. Lama Belila. Why at night? See, again, as I mentioned before you came in, part of my stalling tactic, Yushami doesn't mention anything about or being Urta or being Nage, it's just night. Lama Belila. I'm Rabbi Yasa. Live shame, Bidika Saner, you have fell by Lila. You can't properly check with a candle except at night. Rabbi Mono Lamar came. Rabbi Mono didn't say this. He said a different reason. Fascinating reason. Ushmarte mesayim hazeh. Concerning this day, the 14th day, it says, Ushmarte mesayim hazeh. You should watch this day. L'doi roseichem chukas alam. For your generations, for all t- time. Asay, she yuayim valaylam ushmarim. 
What does that mean? The 14th day of Nisan, the entire day, should be preserved chametz rain. Should get rid of chametz as soon as possible. Ushmartem mesayoimaze means the entire day should be rid of chametz. Fascinating concept. So therefore, you make the bdika at night in order to preserve as much of the day as possible free of chametz. So that's why the obvious question says the Gemara, "V'yaschu biyud kimo." If that's the case, then start the beer on the thirteenth day in order in order to make the entire fourteenth day, both night and day, mishumar, a free of chametz. Says more theoretically, you're right. However, he holds, he also holds of Rabbi Yosi that the bedikah can only be at night because the candle only checks properly at night. Ah, if that's the case, so v'yaschil or you or liur gimel. So start. So do the thirteenth day and night. In other words, if you're tired, you have a drosha daraisa. The atki the fourteenth free of chametz. So and you can't do thirteen three days. You do it the night before. Says more no. If that's the case, it's absurd. Once you have to push it back, you might push it back all the way to Rosh Chodesh. Elo, what? How do we reconcile all the values we bring to bear? Bear here, Shmarta Mesa, Shmarta and or there is Yafel Abdika night, and and uh, doing it as close as possible to Pesach. All those things indicate that we do the 14th day at night of Abdika's Chomet. Now the Mecha Mind, by the way, I want to tell you, we lost from Chaim Kanievsky. That's it. He's done. So now all we have is Lieberman, and I have a new safer, the Shari Toras Eretz Yisroel. Shari Toras Eretz Yisroel is actually in all of you, Shalmi. It's written by a fellow named Rabbi Rabinowitz, who died in the 1920s. It's put up by his kids. He was a push the ball bus, lived in Brisk, and went to the Yushalmi, changing gears hosts. <laughs> so uh, after you guys are finished here, by all means, the uh, the, uh, the there's no even after psachim. But the truth is now, uh, as we go later more and more into shas, I have more and more harot about the way I learned to uh, zroim. I wouldn't do it the same way if you were calling zroim. I always used all the uh, all the the um, cheats for him. You know, the, 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 so it wasn't necessary, and I, it's taken me much longer to familiarize myself with the others for him on shas. In fact, for example, the Orach Shulchan has a safe in all of all of Yushami, called Mechamayim. It's in the back of the Gemaras. It's not in the back. I, I don't know if it's in the back of the big shots. I have the medium-sized shots as well. Oh, it's in the back of your shots. Yeah, the biggest shots it's in the back of. In the back of our little medium-sized shots, it doesn't appear. For some reason, they didn't put, put it in here. But, uh... What? Mecham of Shalmishlein. The, uh... I don't even have that one. The Mechamayim, though, is the Yushalmi, uh... The the Arch Shulman space on the Ushami, and then there are a bunch of other ones which uh, I really noticed just now for the first time, and there's there's an extensive mashbiach am psachim. But in any event, there's uh, uh, in the back of the Ushami am psachim. There's the ruach. It's not there. The ruach zakenim, and uh, as I said, the mechamayim and taras and shorishayim. So the whole slew of things. They they didn't exist on Erevin. For some reason, all these people skipped Erevin. I guess they're afraid of it. But uh, yeah. But in any event, so there's plenty of stuff in here. For example, the Orach Shulchan says, or the Mecha Maim says, same person, that from this we see that he had to be mocked in the Bidika as early as possible. And the Naive Dal. He says, La He says, since Yushami holds that it's a Drosha, which Martin Messiah Mazet, so therefore it means you have to do the Bidika ASAP to get as much of the day of Yudalin, Meshumar Mina Chomets as possible. Right? Which means a lot of people, you know, they're not ready. They wait till midnight in order to do Abdika's Chomet. But you can't do it. You're not supposed to do that. Because much of the day is possible to him with Shumar. It's the one Psuki because they're in Kine- If you look at the parasha itself, they're all bunched together. The Psuki of uh, the Psuki we brought before, Shmarta Besamatsos and Shiva and and Barbosa Yom Lechodesh. Uh, so they're, they're a bunch together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a different bicycle. So yeah, different bicycle altogether. Okay. So it says one further. Rabbi Yemi Bar Omar Rav Rabbi Yemi Omar Rav Shmuel Bar Rav Yitzchak Boy. They ask the question. Marliv Dokla Ravukas can use a um, a um, a torch. Matsri Cholei. What's the question that he has? Neish Oran Mavliach. Their light is Mavliach, and Mavliach, the Mashbiach says, is the same as Mafriach. All those words rhyme. And Mafriach means it flickers, literally flies. So since it flickers, it's a question, and he doesn't resolve it. Roshua Rav Yitzhak Kedaite, Shri Yitzhak follows the line of opinion. So Roshua Rav Yitzhak Amar, Vinei Shanei Yot Bode Koshu. It's best to use a candle. Because the candle checks the best, it checks the most meticulously. Even though there's no explicit proof for this, there's an illusion this, this you child the Bible does bring down. When I want to check your slime and see how they're doing, I'm going to use candles, posted torches. Vista by Omer, so someone say, Nishmini me ado here from here, Ne'er Hashem Nishma, so Adam Chayfez Kol Chadre Botan. The candle of God is the Neshama of man, with, the, with that he seeches, uh, seeks through all the innards of the stomach. Amr Rabbi Yais, Rabbi Yais said, Masnisa Omer Shibdika Sayoyim Bidika. I have a mission which tells me that if you miss two dollars at night, you can check during the day. Where do we find that? The Tzin Rabbi Yudah Omer, Boitkin Orlar Basar, it says later in the Masechta, you check at, on the night of the 14th, Ubar Basar Shacharis, and in the morning, Ubar Shacharis, in the time we eradicate the Chomets. So see, it's possible to check even during the daytime, obviously it's been the event, right? Los of Tov Rabbi Yudah, it's not just Rabbi Yudah, I feel in Rabbana all did this. Because the team we learned, in Chachoyim Armeim, in Lo Bordak, or Lo Yudal, if you didn't check the 4th day by night, Yivdok, Lo Bi Yudal, you check the 4th day by day. However, our question is like this. The Tzorek, Livdok, Lo Raner, when you check during the day, do you have to use a candle? I don't remember what the Laloch Lomaisa is about that. The person who checks during the day, does he have to use a candle? But you sh- you, we'll see here, the Yushami says, Nishmina Mina Ado. Let's learn out from here. Ain't boy kim lol or a chama lol or avona. He can't check not neither by the night of the light of the sun, nor by the light of the moon. Lol or kohen or light of stars el or an air. Rather by the light of the candle. Ni chol lol or avona lol or kohen. And say he can't check by the light of the moon or the light of the stars. Obviously, uh, if you're doing it at night, don't use that light. El, however, lol or a chama. Says, don't check by the sun. Is there any? Um, is there any? Uh, a sun at night? So it must be Adamara must teach us that if you forgot at night, then I feel it be you. I'm sorry, leave dog lower on there. Even today, you have to check by candlelight. Low soft over by shame bora. And those you were talking about a house where there is no light. Yeah, there obviously you need a candle. El afilu abay shish or even a, a, a house which has a window has a light afilu bayom tzarech livdok lo raner even there you need to check by the light of a candle okay no matter why you need a candle even during the day says when we vows are failing mau shi etzarech lebotkan betchila lo raner do you have to, um, uh, 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 what's the law? Are you allowed to check the Mavos Afelim? Dark alleyways. Tzorich means here, as Lieberman points out, aloud. Are you allowed to check them L'Chatchila in the morning by uh, 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 by candlelight? It's, uh, I think that the Shai is you're afraid to walk there at night. You don't want to check at night. They're dark alleys. So you want to check it the next day by candlelight during the day. You'll have to do it even L'Chatchila postpone your train tomorrow. To be the evident, obviously it works. But L'Chatchila, can you postpone checking till tomorrow? That's the word's question. So it says tomorrow, Milei on the Rabban and Armin Lo. Milei on the Rabban and Armin, the words of the rabbis were, Lo kamo du manor belay lo, hu manor biyamama. A candle does not give off the same light in the day that it gives off at night. A candle's brighter at night. Dom Ravun Ravuna said, Kadhavinon Arkin 
when we used to flee. It seems that they used to flee from the tax collectors. They used to have secret tunnels under the base medrash. Here they used the tunnels probably to flee from class. But the same idea. They have tunnels under that tunnels under the building. So, uh, my, uh, 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 so, uh, uh, so he says. I'm going to says Karavinon Arkin when we used to flee. Bilam Buteso those tunnels to see Jerab the great shul. See Jerab is the great base medrash in Tveria it seems. Hayu Malikin will have neiros. They used to light candles in the tunnels. We saw as you came when the candles would give off dim light. Hayu Neyayim Shuyom we knew that outside was day. We saw as you Mafiki when the candles gave out bright light. He used to know that it was night. So we see the nature of night allows candles, but I don't know what it is exactly. Maybe the, the fact that it's dark, that's why No, but they want to can't Yeah. Atmospherically. Maybe it's less air pressure at night. I don't know. What do we know? Surely we do not claim to know uh, what exactly the atmospheric conditions are, do we? Oh, come on, we're on Marazzi. We don't know anything about science. I don't buy that because it's an observable phenomenon and they weren't stupid. It's contrast. It's so dark that any coming out appears brighter than I'm sure there's a scientific explanation of it. I refuse to accept that. That may be true, but he's Chazok uh, Ravuna that he wouldn't have spoken nonsense. You guys are attributing to him either nonsense or mistakes. I have to stay Dalit Amos away from all you guys. All this may be, but that's how Ravuna said. And we, I, we don't. I, I'm convinced that it's possible because I don't know that much about. I, you know, sound travels further at night. Electric waves, the uh, the radio waves travel better better at night. What? What's squared scam waves? Right. So radio waves travel further at night. Maybe light travels better at night. Something I don't know. Something to the atmospheric. It's obviously something to the atmospheric conditions, right? So uh, I I I don't buy. I'm not so sure. I'm. More skeptical than, than you are. Okay? No, because he was a Babylonian. There's got to be a, 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 some uh, some Ravuna of the Babli. How do you show me? Normally, Ravuna in the Yushalmi is called Ravkuna, I think. So I'm not sure this is anyway. All right, in any event, the Sayyok Makai Demara be Achaya Barzira. This is going like Ravachaya Barzira said. Noach b'knisos al teva. The Yushami doesn't let up on this concept. Noach, when he came to teva, he knisim avayim tovim margolios. He brought tovus margolios. He brought with him with him precious stones and pearls. B'shoa shiyal chaos when they were dark. I had day shu yom. We knew it was day outside. B'shoa shu mavikos when they would be bright. I had day shu laila. Knew it was night outside. So again, light is brighter at night. Lama, why do you have to know this? Who cares? He didn't have to dive in. What does he have to do? What does he care? It's got to know, you know, feeding habits. There's some which are nocturnal, some which are, uh, you know, uh, day, uh, day animals. Okay? It doesn't it say make a window for the table. The Ushami learns that Sora is a window. So it says make a window. This opinion is saying that so are must not either not is either not a window it's the precious stones or the window wasn't serviceable why was that because the year of the marble the constellations did not serve in the heavens obviously it means they weren't visible right and that includes also the um, that includes also the uh, the sun so therefore they couldn't tell the difference between night and day if not for this precious stone 
No, here he includes the sun. His mother and Razo so Shimshu, and like him, you can all say the sun was a Mishamich. He said if it's to be something else, and we're extrapolating from that to our case. Okay? Says more I be me a boy, but you can steal so but him drawshois. Mao shoot him dico. The boy but the knas is but a matter of they require bdiko. Now in the good old days, as you probably know, there's no coffee. So people weren't drinking coffee in the base class, the base matters. Shilas, they need bdika at all. You know, our people eating there, they need bdika, right? So says the Gemara, what's the Shaila? What's the Shaila? She came Machdis to the Sham Shabbos or Shukhadoshi. Shal Shudas, I'm a Shkhurs, they bring Chomets in. It's another gear so that instead of Shabbos, it's Avrios. But I'm not going to get into it. It's strange gear so. But now you so it says more, but they pshit to lay. That's the case, so it's Pashat. Of course, it's a high bdika. It shall shoot us, it's Sudas for Shkhurs and Shu. Of course, it's a high bdika. Says the Gemara. No, Rachin Utsri Cholay. This is really the way I meant to ask. Hov Aaron Maruba, since they got a lot of light, Maush Yetzar Lebdoika Bitkila, but Yoim Loran there. Can I, can I hear Tzar means again, can I? May or may I? May I check them during the day by candlelight, or do I still have to check them at night? Okay? Of course, the Gemara doesn't answer. It's not the type of question you should show me ever answers. Rabbi Yossi, boy. Rabbi Yossi asked. The Chatzin where the Kohanim ate of Korbanos, such as the of the and the of the must be checked. Below so says I understand. What do you mean that they check? They're checked anyway. Below they're checked constantly because you want to make sure there's no noisar. Because these are all kachim, kachim is a limited amount of time to eat. So you can't see the chance for na- nicer. So what's your shiloh? So it says more, a very interesting answer. A hey, for creativity. Yeva kadad tana. Goes like this tana. Reb Shaya chasnid Rabbi Levi. Reb Shaya, the, the, the son of Rabbi Levi said, Nida chofevis v'sarekas. A woman who's nida goes to the mikvah. She's got to um, shampoo her hair and comb it before she go, takes a dip. Kohenes ain't a chofefes for Sarekas. How often did a wife of a Kohen have to go to the mikvah? Take a wild guess. More often. What? Every morning. Feel us need us at night. Feel us the core. This is just a truma. So every day the Kohanim just go to the go to the mikvah. In in the houses of rich Kohanim, they excavate. You know, they find they all have mikvos, right? Right now, yeah. To prepare it even. Oh, either has a relation to it's a stam chumra ba'ama. But their machir go to the mikra every day. That was their minute. That was their custom. So if she goes every day, she doesn't have to do shampoo and, and co- co- comb her every day because it doesn't, from one day to the next, it doesn't get all tangled up. So use normal tangles. Okay. However, nida kohenes, oh, kohenes who's a nida, chofevis v'sarekas, she's got to do chafifo and sariko. Right? She has to chafifo and sariko. Um, in b- before going to to the mikvah, shlo tachlo benida lanida. In order not to see what you're doing, anida on another nida. Avhach shlo lachlo ben bia lebiar. Here too, uh, the reason why I would have to check the chutz there, it's not because it really needs to be checked, because I checked it to make sure there's no nosar hither too. Rather, it's in order to not draw a distinction between the chutzeros. That's nice. Says more, but wait a minute. Of course, the Nida has to do Khafif and Sriko. What's the Kiddush? She didn't go to the Mikvah for the last seven days. She's a Nida, there's no Toelis in her going to the Mikvah. There's no point. So therefore, it must be that uh, 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 it must be she didn't go to mikvah for those seven days. So of course she has to chafifah sriko. What's the chiddush? Of course she has to do it, right? 
So it says, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you where it's a Kiddush. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, so what to it goes to to, uh, to to the Mikra every day that doesn't have to do it. Um, so he said, you know what, that you're right. But I'm talking about even, or the Bryce is talking about even a Shomer Yom Kineged Yom Nitzuchah. A woman who's in the days not of Lida but of Ziva. And until she sees three days straight, so she's still considered to be a Zavaktana. And she could go to the Mikveh every day. And that was saying that a Shomer Yom Kineged Yom has to check, has to check herself. To be Chofevis in Sorekas. And a Kohenis who's a Nida. Even though she's checking, I'm sorry, it was a Shemesh Yom Kineged Yom. Even though she checked herself because of being a Kohen, not she checked herself, she went to the mikvah because she went, went to the, uh, she is the wife of a Kohen and she's going to eat Truma. And for that, she she should be exempt from having to check herself because anyway, she went yesterday. Nonetheless, in order not to draw a distinction between needles, we say that when she goes to the mikvah, because she has some problem of ziva, so then she has to check herself in Comer air beforehand as well. Okay? That's the low plug. Low plug between a regular Shomer Sion Kenegi Yom was Israelis, and this Shomer Sion Kenegi Yom was the Kohenis. Okay? They both have to check. When they're going to Toivo, because of their Nida state, meaning their Ziva state. All right, new, ki- new case. Chorei Abayi sell you any of the the holes in a house, both high up and low down, by a tia and a, and a mezzanine, v'chadus, chadus is usually called a deuce, a dugout, v'ali a second floor, v'gaga Abayi, the roof of a house, v'gaga migdol, and the roof of a tower or a warehouse, base a tavern, a a a a, a, a hay storage hut, a base a oat, a base a a a a barn for for animals, investigate animals. Both us are shemen, both us are peros, and warehouses of oil and warehouses of fruits. And a tzirim none of these have to be checked. Just leave them alone; they don't have to be checked. Says more nich nichol you any v'tachto now the the Mashbia, the Bnei Moshe says El Yonim. I understand we don't have to check because they're too high up to put stuff in. But what about Tachtonim? Why why did you have to check them? Maybe stuff fell in. So uh, that's the way the um, Bnei Moshe understands it. The Mashbia says questions also on El Yonim and the upper ones that the El Yonim it says here are Potter. Why the El Yonim Potter? I don't understand. Um, um, that uh, if you're going to say you don't have to check the Leon Tachlon, it means you're not afraid something's going to fall in. Why aren't you afraid something's going to fall to? Forget about it. He doesn't use intention. Maybe something fell in. So it says, There's a story about where the two holes are very adjacent to the wall. And then it doesn't matter if they're below or above ten fachim. Now the Torah says so changes the gear so here. Shari Torah says so it changes the gear so. Which el yonim are good? El yonim above ten fachim. Which tachtonim are good? That people are not going to stick stuff in there. Tachtoni lamata me shlosha tachtonim. See how it changes the gear so? So he says uh, over here. They're both coming out of the wall. That's that. That's okay. That's the only which doesn't require bika. But then to the ground, that doesn't require bika either. That's the way the um, Shari Torah says it's all in sense more. The conventional way of understanding more is that um, Rabbi Yes is saying that since they they are the the. Uh, Holes are very um, flush with the wall, so no, so nothing could have fallen into them because they're not protruding. Then anybody could have dropped something to them in- inadvertently. So it says Gemara. Well, if that's the case. I'm sorry. Right, what about a dugout? 
a dugout, surely somebody could have fallen into there, right? Somebody walks by inadvertently, you know, um, drops something into the, uh, not somebody, a child, drops some chametz into the, into the dugout. Well, it drops into the dugout, right? Why don't you require Badika on the dugout? A hole in the ground. So the baseball players wait for their at best. It's actually more, obviously more, in, you know, more of a hole than just a place for the players to rest. Okay. What? Oh, so what? It's an interesting shot. I mean, Shami doesn't give that, I guess, because they want to cover all grounds. Finding a chadusa dam rashlo choshna via matzir on afraid of something falls in. Why not? I'll tell you why. Very baabatish. Misyor atida kulei choshama. A child is afraid to walk there because what might happen if he walks there? Fall in. So he's afraid to walk there, right? Uh, uh, uh. In the good old days, the kids were smarter. Okay? Yeah, Jewish kids are smarter. So, uh, maybe they still are. So, in any event, so, so, so that's why that's not afraid so he's going to fall here. The Chashlom HaRashem, but he's bound this guy will go from. Maybe he won't come close, or maybe some Chomets rolled into the boar. So, this doesn't want to part there, but Chadushi Yeshlo Levaz Baz. It's a dugout which has a uh, which has a rim around it, so now you can fall in. The gaga gag gaga habad gaga migdo the roof of an olive press or the roof of a tower does not require bedika. How the time we're going shlosh etzvay? That's why the more than three talking about the ground. A man and goyim shlosh etzvay and bore it. They're not more than three talking about the ground because because the building sunk into the ground and only the roof rises above the top. Then they're not considered to be distinct, and therefore in that case. Um, they like the ground. You have to check them. Now, he want the the Shari Torah says Yisrael changes the gear. So here, he says that uh, if they're not ten tefachim high, or it's gonna be up to ten tefachim, up to ten tefachim, it's still shach the to the person who's the uh, who's. Um, um, uh, what? Yeah, up to ten volume, uh, even more than three volume. Up to ten volume, you have to check it because the person might might lose use it. If it's less than ten volume, he's not really going to use it because too low to the ground. So that's that's uh, the shari Torah So it's a tikkun gear. So usually when he makes a queen like that, he seems to have no rise. He just makes them unilaterally. But the Gemara itself is saying that if it's a thin three foot of the ground, then it's like the ground. Anything more than three foot is already off the ground because of love. Right, right. Okay. So it says Gemara. I'm Raymond. Raymond has said, "Vios, uh, is this correct?" Kena nu Amri. Was this a question? One second. No, it's not. It seems not to be a question, even though the, there are those who came to say it is a question. But it means like this: Vios, and this is the proper way of doing it. Why well, can't no Omri? Because we say Hada Papyrus. I don't say exactly Papyrus is. They say it's like a jug which contains bones. Um, not bones. Contains uh, full of bre- bread, bread, bread. Look at the red dial. It's like a huge bread box. So he says, "Oh my money, Vios can on me, Mazda Papyrus. If you look at our comma, Lotei Tzicha Bedika, it must be true 
that which we said that requires badika if it's already uh, something um, It requires think of there's something some substantial chashash about it. Yeah. Right. The main point is that I- even if it's very tall, it requires Dika. That's really the point we tried to make. Even so, which is a very tall object, requires Dika because you could have well put bread into it. So therefore, he's saying that, that he's, he's uh, sustained. I would say previously that if it's a mokum, that you you know it's the shtamish chometz, you have to make much more badika. A perfunctory badika is not sufficient. That's basically all we're saying. Tan or shugim liomer mito shichotzes b'sochabayis. If you have a bed or a sofa, which divides your half a house in two, beitz avoy munachi tachter, and under the bed there's only sticks and stones. Bodek sarachitzi, you check the outer side of the bed. You don't check the inner side of the bed. Now, it's only when there's wood underneath. If there's no wood underneath blocking, then you got to check the inside of the bed, lest the kid out got it into there too. We're afraid that the kid's going to drop things. I'd say that a child got in there because the bed was not blocked underneath. There were no sticks and stones underneath it. So a child must have, could have gotten in there. We have to Islam Shami and He could bring Chomets in. Right? So therefore, even if we have a case where uh, if there's a bed inside the house, it's not considered to be absent unless there's no way a child could sneak under the bed and get to the other side. I guess we're not afraid he's going to sneak over the bed because then he's in public. Praise going to sneak under the bread and take chametz with him, and that's why we have to do bedika on the other side. Okay, mativ shel yain tzarich bedika. If you have a wine cellar, it must be checked. Mativ shel shevet. If you have a oil cellar, ain't no tzarich bedika. It need not be checked. Ma ben yain, ma ben yain, ma ben shemen. What's between wine and oil? So yain ain't look keva. People go in there all tired to take. It has no set times, so people forget and bring in bread even in the middle of the meal. Shemen ain't lo shemen yesh lo keva. Oil you use a fixed amount before the meal, and don't go back in the middle to go get more oil. So therefore, in that case, we have no chashash. Okay. Oats are a a a, ware, a warehouse. Bein shel yain, bein shel shemen. Whether if it's wine or oil, ain't oats. Uh, uh, I skip a line. Okay, Oats is a warehouse. Beit Shai, Beit Shem, and Tzar Bdika. Why is that? Because an Oats is a warehouse. A Martev is a seller. You're more likely to take a piece of bread into a seller than you are into a warehouse. Says you, Shalmi, Martev, uh, uh, Yesh Martev Shukot, Tzar Vot Shuk Martev. Oh, it's good. Ezu Martev. What's a Martev? Koshinosi Malach Mechotzer. Anything which is susceptible to having bread in it because it's in the chutzah together with everything else. It's a cellar, it's not a warehouse, it's not distinct from the rest of the field, right? Now, says where of Oats, Martev, Yesh Martev Shukar, Oats are the same Martevim, cellars which are like warehouses, Oats are Shukar Martev, and warehouses which are like cellars. Martev Shubosh Luchel Besocho, a Martev we embarrassed eating it. So, I read the Oats as a did of an Oats because people don't normally eat this, so I have to check thoroughly. Absolutely. Votes are sheena bosh lo chomitocho. The uh, vice versa. If the uh, there is a, a warehouse which is not embarrassed, right? To, you're not embarrassed seeing on the inside. There, it's like my thing. You have to check it as well. Yesh chotzer shukamavi yimavi shukachot. Putting bread in, right? The Gemara is going to be consistent about that, right? Gemara is going to be consistent about that. Yesh chotzer shukmav mavikul shukul chotzer. Now, in fact, this story about a camp to where a woman a woman has to cover her hair. She only has to cover her hair in a private domain, in a public domain, not in a private domain. 
So if we can prove that the private domain extends out beyond the chutz, we should keep him here uncovered further than the So that's what Yushami says. Yesh chutzir shuk mavi, mavi shuk chutzir. Some of us like a chutzir, and some of us chutzir like a mavi. Chutzir sharami bogim soch. If it's chutzir, where the many people come, harei kumav. It's like mavi. She has to uh, cover her hair. Mavi shein rami bogim soch. Even an alleyway where there aren't many people come through, harei kachutzir like chutzir. She doesn't have to cover her hair. Now that's the way it's sort of ksuvas, and that's the way the kamfashim also say it's brought that it's brought down here because it's a similar. There are those who hold this way and those who hold that way, but really it's like to do with pesachim. The writers who say the in, chief among them, the Gilean Ashas here, that chutzer shahareu kimavui means you have a chutzer where you don't have to do chametz because it's a public domain, even though you have private ownership over it. Where's that? Where many people come in? It's like we're just arriving where nobody has a chiyu b'dika, and vice versa. There's sometimes where we're just arriving has a chiyu b'dika. When is that? What? When is just arriving have a chiyu b'dika? I shouldn't say. The fewer people you use it, the less chametz there is. No, because we're not talking about picnics. Who just mentioned that before? Right? Yeah, I know you didn't use the word pick this way. He said, we're not afraid he's going to eat when he walks in, but he's going to drop a piece of bread. Right? So it's nothing to do with how many people come in and have their picnic lunches there. Right? So the, the thing is, who's going to miss the piece of bread or not? So therefore, if it has more, um, if it has more, um, more, uh, more people coming through, so it's more likely people are going to notice the piece of bread. Less people coming through, less likely people are going to throw nose to breast of bread, which is dropped. So whatever they want to say, that's a movie, which has a lot of people who's like, as a chutzer, uh, a lot of people who's like a movie, you don't have to check. A movie, which has few people like a chutzer, you do have to check. But if it has chutzer it's more like That's true. I don't think we've taken into account at all, though, but you're right. The most makes we should see up. Here's the airman. Um, says Gemara, V'chash uh, Lomar, I don't understand. Why don't you have to check a Marte? Don't you have to be we're, we're concerned Shema Bahami Machnisu Soho Chomet? Maybe the donkey drivers who carry the wine barrels brought Chomet into the Marte too, right? Says Gemara, no. Ain't there a Bahami Lios Machnisu Soho Chomet telling me name is Siko? They don't bring in Chomet to bring candy. I don't know if it's really candy. I would say pickles. Because what do they want to do, these guys, the wagon drivers? They're going. They want to drink the wine. I don't know if they're going. But they want to drink the wine. So therefore, comets and wine don't go together. Wine and cheese goes together. Wine and, and fruit goes together. So they're not going to bring in comets. They're going to bring in wine. Okay? Hayetil Farish. Oh, why? They only bring aluminium and tikkun shame boikim with say of because they make the wine, they enhance the wine, and of course the wine that tastes better. Hayat to the Pilfari, somebody goes on a trip. Kodim Shloshim Yom, before more than 30 days away from Beisach, and a Tzarek Livdok, he doesn't have to check. The So Shloshim, if he's within 30 days of Beisach, Tzarek Livdok, he's got to check. We all we had this all in the Bible. Had a Tamer Shish Medaita Lassar, it's only have his mind to come back before Beisach. But if he doesn't have money to come back before Pesach, even if he leaves more than 30 days before Pesach, he's got to check. Now, I just typed up the carbonator. That even if he knows he's not coming back for Pesach, he still has to check. Right? But the name Moshe says, he's going to come back for Pesach, but he's not going to come back till the last moment. And then he's not going to have time. So if he knows he's not coming back, he for sure has got to check before he goes. Even if he thinks maybe I'll come back, he still has to check before he goes. And right, and even uh, uh, certainly even knows that come back at all. The last one he has to check right now before he leaves. Says the Gemara. How did the Tamar b'sheish b'zaito lachzor? I just said with a suffix, and this is all talking about with suffix. Now the question is what the suffix is going on. So the two pshatim and the suffix are that it's going on the um, on the chametz, whether it's suffix chametz or bade chametz, and uh, the other pshat 
is that the suffix is going on whether he checked or didn't check. Right? No, I'm sorry, whether he's coming back or not coming back. That's the Bnei Moshe Shah. Whether he's coming back or not coming back is the suffix. So let's see that inside. Um... Right, so, so it says, no, it's good, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, well, the suffix, then we have the contingencies of before 30 days, after 30 days, whatever the case may be. I will be but he's definitely not coming back, again, according to the name Moshe, so immediately before Pesach, then Tzorech leave Dog Shema Yimolech Vloi Achsor. Then he has to. I skipped again. Ube Suffolk, Avo Vivada, I feel him Rosh Hashanah. He's definitely not coming back to the last moment. He has to check even if he leaves Rosh Hashanah time. Or so whenever, whenever you're going to come again, this is going to name Moshe. Going to name if you don't come back, you still have to check before you leave. So Chiyah Badika. Name Moshe says, Yushami old Bittel doesn't work for Mahomet's Mamish. So therefore you have to check. I say the Pnei Moshe Korbaneda. Korbaneda says, you know, yeah, Pitul doesn't work for Chomet's Bain and Yushami. So you have to check. If you're Vada and not coming back, you for sure have to check before you leave. The Pnei Moshe holds that he Pitul does work, even according to Yushami. And therefore he says, the Vada means, if you're Vada and not coming back till Eret Pesach, then you have to check before you leave Rosh Hashanah time. Okay? Am I conveying the difference between Karmenayda and Pnei Moshe adequately? Karmenayda holds that the checking is even when you don't intend to come back for Pesach. Pnei Moshe holds the checking is when you tend to come back for Pesach, but at the last possible moment. And then you have to check before you leave, depending on when you leave and what exactly your plans are. Okay? Now we come to very famous Kumar. Oh, oh, we're not yet. Says Mara Rabbi Bov, I feel the Ish Badaito Lachsar, even if I might come back, Tsarek leave Dok, you have to check. Shemli Molech Loy Amsar, so maybe you won't come back. Going to Korme, maybe you won't come back at all. Going to Moshe, maybe you won't come back the last possible moment, by which time it's too late to do Bdikas Chomets. Now, very famous Kumara. How come that money might be a Chomets? Everybody's believing I'm your Chomets. I feel Noshim, I feel Avodim. Even women, even slaves. Rabbi Yehim Hashem Rabbi Zeira Leis kana filu nashi Two pshatim One pshat Leis kana filu nashi means Don't include women They're not believed on Bikas Chomets The other pshat is Don't say a filu on women Don't denigrate women that way Right? Uh, you can say a filu of women are believed But say a filu women are believed It's not nice It's bunch of women are believed Eid echonem and bisurit Now two pshatim in the next line too On this basis Nashim atzmon hein nem monos. When themselves are believed, they shay not seals because they're lazy. They both cause kosher kosher and they check little by little. According to Mashbiach and the others, it's a typo. Should be Nashim atzmon hein nem monos. They're not believed. Why they're not believed? Because they're lazy bums. They're not going to check properly. They check slowly, slowly. The other shot is Nashim. Are atzonein and monos? They're believed. That's because they uh, the, the and it's not an afilu. It's part of their belief because they're better than men. Atzilus means they're slow. Slow means they're meticulous and they check every nook and cranny. Kosher, kosher means every small part. That's the Mirish shot in the Gemara. Mir is big feminist, and the Mirish says anybody who learns differently doesn't know how to learn Gemara. It's an amazing statement by the Miri. Now, almost everybody else does learn differently. But the uh, thing is like this. The thing is, is he had a third shot. The the Oracle Shulch Shulch the Mecha Mind says that this is the answer. It's a question and answer. Rabbi Yirmi asks, why did you say a filu? It's partial she's believed, right? Because it's a rant that women has always believed. The answer is, you might say here they're not believed because they are lazy. And they do check very slowly. That's why the Yushami is saying, even though here they're a little slow, nonetheless we do believe them. So there are all sorts of shanti that we don't believe them, and Atilus is why. That we do believe them, and Atilus is why. That we do believe them, despite the fact that they're Atilus. All three shanti Okay?
You can do that too. You can change the shein at the the shein at Sure, you show me anything goes. It goes, goes. Certainly goes. No times. Now Kutim, the Samaritans. Calls much Osi Matsas and we saw as long as they make matzo with Jews, they have money made out of beer chomets, they're believing beer chomets. Most of Shatimir learn the conventional way of learning that is that as long as they participate with us in Mitzvah Matzah, so we know they're Makbid on Pesach, so we trust them. The card Lieberman rings out a different shot, beautiful shot. So as long as they make Pesach the same time of year as we do, because they have a different calendar. So it means whenever they make Pesach the same time we do, then they're believed. Okay? Says Gemara, may not see matzos in Mitzvah. They don't make their matzos juicy, either literally or figuratively. And in that money, I'll be your chametz. They're not believed. I'm Rabbi Yosi. Other time, when are they believed? They bought him in their houses. I will over chateres not believe on courtyards. I will chateres chashunim and they're suspect. They don't darshan. They darshan. Loim atay b'techem. You don't can't find chametz in your houses. But lo b'chatzosechem that does not include courtyards. You may find chametz in your courtyard that it's permissible. Tana shungam liel oimer shungam liel says kol mitzvah shakutim nagim ba any mitzvah the kutim keep. The medakim ba yes so they're frumer about it than the Jews. I'm Rabbi Shimon. Shimon said, "How did the tamer? That was true, but he shined originally." Shimon shukayim bekufreneon. Gorvei says, "Let us shukayim bekufreneon." Means when they lived in their own villages, they were mishuka. They dwelt with kafreneon in their own villages. They were not assimilated. Once they got assimilated, they lost their trustworthiness. It's Gorvei's trap. They must have said, "Shot." I don't think it's true, but it's certainly more creative. It says. When they're mashuk on their kfila, when they're involved in their kfila, because at least they were from kaifrim, right? They were kaifrim, but they were from about it. Now they're not even from about their kfila anymore. You can't trust them at all. Okay? Avlachshav sheilem lo mitzvah lo shiot shori mitzvah. They have no mitzvahs nor nor any vestige of mitzvahs. Chashudim hey mukul kolim hey. They're suspect and they are ruined. Okay, Sholim Bilchus on Pesach should be Bit Pesach. You learn the Lord's Pesach on Pesach. Hilchus Zeres, Lord's Shvuas on Shvuas on Zeres. Hilchus Chag, Bechag, Lord's of Sukkot on Sukkot. The base of Ba'an and the base Medrash. You prepare Sholim Kodem Shlosh, you are ready to prepare 30 days before. Rav Shigal Mir Shtesh Abbas is two weeks. Asked Rabbi Yon Krabbonin, Rabbi Yon gave a drush like Krabbonin, the Chavrai or Krab Shigal Mir, this is in the Bible as well. Am Rabbi Yochanan Tamei and the Rabbanon Shkei Moshe Shomei Pesach Rishon for Emel Milchus Pesach Sheni. Rabbi Moshe stood on Pesach Rishon on Pesach Sheni. It's where thirty days before the Chavrai of Shingam Liel Shkei Moshe Shomei Rosh Chodesh for Emel Milchus and Pesach. Chavrai of Josh Shingam Liel then Moshe stood on Rosh Chodesh. Chodesh Nisan said a Chodesh Razel Ochem and continued to do the halachos of Pesach. Okay, uh, we'll stop here. Just do a lot. It's a second tomorrow.